So, Alex, you have a very interesting story because you were originally born in Ukraine, but you actually are broadcasting from Italy. So mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about how you ended up in artificial intelligence. Okay, basically how it all started when I was a kid, maybe 14 years old, I got interested into like programming in general, like a lot of young nerds, I would say. Uh, but then I decided to enroll to applied mathematics department in Kyiv, Ukraine. And uh, after my first year, I was guessing actually where I can apply this mathematics because it didn't look to me like anything applies. So I was literally Googling what mathematicians do in real life. And that's how I found machine learning. I studied for maybe half a year on famous online courses. I was lucky to get my, to get my first job really quickly. It was uh, one American startup. I even worked for free for a couple of months to get the experience. And basically that's how it started. Mm -hmm. So what does Maui technology do? Mavi Technology, simply Mavi, it's a company that does uh, two things. We are producing the medical device that is a variable CG monitor, you can see it on my hand right now. And we also develop all the full stack uh, artificial intelligence software for this product. So we make a device that measures electrocardiogram on the medical grade and all the algorithms for its analysis for different things, starting from the diagnosis of different diseases and ending is you know, biometrical identification. Help us understand the service, like wh where I'm gonna watch my ECG, for how long can I watch it? We have the app and the, all your measurements are stored in the app and on the cloud. Of course, you can share these measurements, the cardiogram with the doctor if you want, via email, via the platform, the, the way you like doing it. Uh, after each recording, we show the summary. And the summary includes some uh, stress analysis, we call it stress recovery balance, which is, uh, let's say, something from the classical modeling thing. And also we show the results of the identification of the diseases. So if you're healthy, you just say you're good. And okay, maybe you're stressed, but you're not sick. And there are lots of work being done around preventive medicine and artificial intelligence. So let's suppose we prevent everything. Then what we do with this? Talking about the preventive thing, of course, what I mean and what is usually meant by preventing, it means that uh, we can say you have the risk of something. It's not like it doesn't say in one year you're going to have a heart stroke, of course. You're talking about the risks. And uh, of course, your own lifestyle and, uh, and your life conditions and everything affects it uh, much more than our models. So what we can do with this, basically, yeah, I expect that we can make people's life longer because if you know in advance about your state and about your risks, this is, if you feel wise enough, you can go to the doctor and uh, have your treatment earlier. So this way you're gonna live longer. What do you expect? Do you expect that we will increase the average life uh, of uh, the average human being or we will introduce more stress and more fear in the, in the, in the, in the life. To me it's a bit hard to tell because I'm not, I'm personally not scared of the things and the most people of that I know they're kind of they are willing to know what happened to them so to them it's not a stress it's like new information, new adventure in a way I would say. I agree that there are a lot of people who don't like to go to the doctors they prefer to live in the ignorance uh, so I think to people who prefer to live in the ignorance, of course, it's much more stress. But I think in general, philosophically talking, humanity due to preventive medicine will live longer, definitely, in general.